And guess what? I get robbed. All the money gets taken away. I get beaten up pretty badly because, you know, during the process, I, I try not, I try to protect the money that I have, obviously to no avail. I lost all of my money. I was robbed. Hey guys, uh, Kian here. I was about to say welcome to another episode of Psychology with Kian because I've been recording that, but no. This is not a Psychology with Kian. But before I get to the content, be sure to check out FNK Concept on Shopee or Bazaar for cool products every single price says. Today, I want to be asking for your opinion on this story. I'm just going to tell you this story right now. One day, one magical day, Kian suddenly becomes a millionaire. Like he's rich man, he's filthy rich. You know what, not a millionaire, but a billionaire. So I own at least one billion dollars at my expense. And one day I wanna, you know, save up one million dollars from my savings to the bank, right? I wanna, I wanna have some savings, I wanna put things in the bank. And then I know that as I go to the bank, well, you know what? I decide to walk rather than drive to the bank. So I walk. And because I'm walking, I have to kind of carry my money, right? And instead of carrying my money, or putting my money in a bag, I decide to hold all the cash in my hands as I walk through this street. And I know that this street is known for a lot of crimes. A lot of robberies happen there, crimes happen there, there are drug dealers there, there are just regular, I guess bad people there. But I don't care. I tell myself that I should be able to do whatever I want whenever I want to. Because if anything happens to me, it is not the fault of myself, but the fault of the people who do the bad things to me. That's what I decided to tell to myself. And yeah, I should not be blamed. The assailant should be blamed. And then, so I hold my money on my hands, showing all the bare cash, like that in my hands. I walk to the street, which is known for all the robberies and crimes. And guess what? I get robbed. All the money gets taken away. I get beaten up pretty badly because, you know, during the process, I, I, try, not, I try to protect the money that I have, obviously to no avail. I lost all of my money. I was robbed. What do you think about this story? What do you think about Kian as the billionaire? I'm gonna tell you my opinion. I think that the statement that I made, that I should be able to do whatever I want, whenever I want, because if anything happens to me, it is the fault of the assailant and not myself. Although that statement is not wrong, I think that it is a naive statement to make. And the reason for that is because I feel that although the assailant should be blamed, no victim blaming should happen, the assailant should definitely be blamed, right? The assailant is the asshole. I also think that we cannot deny the fact that there will always be evil lurking around in the world. It's sad to kind of, it's sad to realize this, right? I don't want to have evil in the world. I hate evil people. I hate bad people. I mean, you can decide what bad means, but I think that bad people are people who hurt people. Right? I hate those people. But we can't deny that there are always gonna be evil people lurking around the world. And I also think that although the assailant, the person who robbed Kian in this case, should be blamed 150%, Kian should not be blamed at all, man. He's the victim. He got robbed. But I feel that Kian should be responsible, at least to a certain extent. He needs to be responsible and know that by doing the actions that he did, like not putting his money in a bag, walking to this well-known street instead of driving, is gonna put him at a higher risk of being robbed. That's what I think. Again, this comes back to the point that he can do whatever he's, like he didn't do anything wrong, right? He can hold his money if he wanted to. It's, it's the fault of the people who robbed him. They shouldn't be robbing. And it, it doesn't matter that he wants to walk and not drive. But he needs to know that by doing these actions, he's elevating and increasing the risk of himself being robbed. He's making himself more vulnerable than he originally is. Therefore, I think that he should be responsible at least for a bit. It's like he needs to grow up and know a little bit more that there are evil people around the world. That is a mean thing to say. That is like, that is one of the worst things I could say. And it's sad. I feel bad for saying it. I feel bad for saying that Kim 
needs to grow up a little bit and needs to be responsible. Because it is bad, like wouldn't you hope that there is no evil in the world? I would hope that. But it's as of now at least in the 21st century, in 2021 even, that's not the case. There's evil lurking around the world. And I think this situation can be applied to many other form of crimes and situations in our lives. But I'm not gonna name any because it's very sensitive. But I'm just gonna leave you with this story and my thoughts for you to think about. And yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. I, I hope to see controversial arguments, not because I wanna provoke anyone, but because I really wanna know what other people are thinking. I mean, if everyone agrees with me, awesome. No, con no controversy at all. But if people hugely disagree with me, leave your comments. I am happy to have a chat with you. Um, until next time, be sure to check out FNK Concept on Shopee and or Lazada. For cool products, every single prices. Follow me on Instagram, Kian Kian underscore. Follow me on TikTok, Chatty Kian. And like, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. So if you dislike the video, dislike it. Leave a comment as well. I want to know why you dislike it, right? Leave a comment if you love it. Yay. Till next time, I'm out.